is another arrow in the quiver of the three-part portfolio, right? That's right. Talk yeah. a little bit about the V-class yeah. and maybe the, yeah, the, so the, the <laughs> details there. You know, if you, if you step back on what folks are after in this, in this new data center, um, they're trying to handle, you know, kind of this unpredictable multi-tenancy, right? Handling all those mixed workloads and changing workloads. They are, you know, trying to deal with uh, security and, and quality of service. They're trying to, you know, maintain kind of um, uh, persistent access to, to data that's maybe moving a around their environment. They, um, you know, are thinking about pay-as-you-grow models and keeping capacity utilization at, at an as high as absolutely possible um, and you know they're driving on self-configuring self um, provisioning self tiering systems to, to kind of keep the operational side down so so you've got a you know a, a set of criteria that that frankly is showing the the cracks in the architectures uh, of you know 20 years ago that um, you know we we've kind of been been working towards and with the the new V class it's our latest extension to the family that's really built on that and what uh, we we kind of view the V class as sort of a a, um, a, a benchmark for folks who are trying to deliver mission critical uh, uh, storage capabilities uh, in this new data center the V class extends the um, the lineup about uh, uh, fifty percent higher in terms of overall connectivity and uh, to uh, to IO and disk it's um, supports some workloads uh, uh, as much as three times faster um, from a, uh, a virtual machine perspective it, it really drives up the scalability of uh, VMs in your environment and it does all of that with a whole new level of efficiency really built into that that gen 4 ASIC you get you know fat to thin conversion faster, you get a more granular uh, reclamation capability, even your remote copy or DR uh, capability uh, between arrays gets um, uh, zero detection, gets a, a thin uh, um, uh, capability to it beyond the thin aware capability built into it before. To build on that, you know, it was more granular uh, around thin provisioning. We used to do it at 128 megabyte Block sizes, right. it's now 16K. Mm. So, whatever that math is, it's 10,000 times more efficient, or what have you. So, it, uh, you know, we're really sucking out all the extra unused stranded space and then giving it back to uh, the general storage pool. Thin. So, very, um, very thin. Well, who